Hello and welcome to another Gita channel. Let's make it darker. We're going into dark parts. Hello and welcome to another Gita channel. Another Gita channel is a channel for all those guitarists who cannot play on an instrument, but they love to turn the knobs and they're interested <laughs> in gear. Uh, here we are in Milton Keynes actually, uh, maybe not the home place of Marshall, but actually in the place where Marshall's got his factories, uh, sitting and built in the middle of nowhere with Stuart from SBC Guitars, from Tottenham. Are you Tottenham? Tottenham. Are you Tottenham? Well, actually I'm from Bedfordshire, but sure. So, so, you, you, so you're not supporting Tottenham? No. Okay, good. Chelsea? No, no football. Newcastle is my Newcastle. Yeah, 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 but football, football sucks anyway. Yeah. Uh, guitars matters. Are you a guitar player yourself? Yeah, but not to any professional level. So you cannot play the instrument, but you love to turn the knobs? Yeah. Okay, but how did that start with you then? How, how did, where did the guitar come to your life from, you know, why? Um, yeah, no, I, I said, love music growing up. Um, I love my rock and metal. Uh, I got into it when I was 16 and I came out of school and didn't know what to do with myself, so I went out and bought a guitar. Um, learned to play over a summer, bought an electric, which had a Floyd Rose, snapped Ooh. a string on the first day, Ooh. refused to take it to a tech, so I learned before the proper days of the internet to set up a Floyd Rose within a couple of months of playing. And that's uh, kind of what led me on to building. What was the guitar, you remember? Yes, yeah, I've got it. It's a Hamer Slammer. You still got it? Still got it. It's a, oh, it's one of the Super Strat Hamer Slammers. Still play it as well. It's quite nice. <laughs> yeah. Did you go to any lessons or did you...? I had lessons with a chap called Simon for years. He was an absolute head case, but he was a brilliant teacher. He taught me to the blues minor scale pentatonic. That's Which what is we all need to start. Basically, from. all I play now. Yeah, you Where just, it you can, need? It can cover everything, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so, what, like setting up this photos made you making the guitars in a way? That's what you're saying. Well, I'm a product designer by trade anyway, so I did product design at university. And in my last year, I wrote a dissertation about the evolution of electric guitar design, which got me really interested in it. And then when I left, I started sketching and designing, and I came up with these god awful, ugly guitar designs that so I, I built. You're a guitar scientist in a way. Kind of. Let's go with that, it sounds good. All right, get the sciences, so I didn't know that's something that exists, you know. Um, but yeah, and then I came up with like a pretty rubbish design and then a better design and then quite a good design. And then it's just kind of grown from there. But you're not copying any of the already known shapes, you know, all your guitars are very, very original, you know, Nobody's making them like you are making them. Thank you. Why? Probably because... Why didn't you go onto this path which already is there, you know, Fender Stratocaster 1966, Les Paul 59. That's all I want. Because you're making them like this. What? Um, it's... I, I've always favoured ergonomics over aesthetics, which is really where I've come from. So like all of the guitars that I've designed and built, they've all been designed that they fit in within a certain size parameter. They all balance really nice and naturally at the neck. Um, all the contours and cutaways you'd expect and even some you wouldn't expect. So that's designed to sort of encourage you to play it in the centre more so. Um, and so basically we let the aesthetics drive the design before, uh, sorry, the ergonomics drive the design before the aesthetics and then we tend to build the aesthetics around it. And the neck here is like it's, it's, it's chunky, chunky here and very flat on this yeah. side. So it's for riffing. For riffing is good. 
yeah. you know, on the low on the low side, and then you got like you know proper proper Jackson Jackson style. So is it all coming from the studies you were talking about? That you are like a, is is it is this knowledge helping you, or is it made by experiments and you know like experiences gained with uh, with your mistakes? How is it? Yeah, it's pretty much. So um, I, I was really lucky a few years ago to be joined by uh, Hobbs, who's an engineer. Um, and we kind of came together with this idea of like building a, an ergonomic version of a, a Firebird guitar. Uh -huh. Gibson and Firebird, yeah. It didn't work, but what we came out with was this like overextended top horn, smaller body around here, so that it all just fits in nice and neatly. And that, that's kind of where it's come from. And, and there are things, so obviously all of this, this is aesthetic, but it's fitting the aesthetic in with the ergonomic and not the other way around. How is it, is it hard on the market to get people into that kind of instruments? Yeah. And we all, con guitar, guitarists are very conservative people, you know. Yeah. We, we've done better generally with like lefties and bass players and such because there's less option open for them anyway and I think bass players tend to be a bit more open to the ergonomics. Um, but no, the bass, I mean the guitar side of it started to really take off this year, which is nice. Where are you taking the materials from? Is it like, where, where are you taking the materials from? The wood? Are you looking for a special kind of wood? Do, no. you, do you believe in wood tone? Um, How is it that? Yeah, I, I, I think the quality of the wood is important. Um, but in terms of the source of the wood, I, I, I'm very open with how I source it. A lot of them are made from reclaimed woods okay. or saved woods. So like the top on that is all from uh, Euston Station area. That's some really? London plane. Yeah, yeah. That's some London plane that was saved from a chipper. Why you would put that through a chipper, I don't know. Where and all of that. That's all reclaimed um, mahogany, African mahogany, from a uh, well, from my house actually, my parents' house. I was walking past it. They don't live there anymore. I was walking past it. The guy was taking down the porch that my granddad built. Solid mahogany. Gave him 200 quid for it, and it's, I've had about four or five guitars out of it. But ultimately, what you've got is a really stable, really well seasoned wood. Because it was seasoned outside, inside, yeah. you know, for years. So it's a really reliable source of wood with a nice story. What kind of hardware are you using? What is it? Because uh, I, can, I can see it, Goto, Goto tuners. Tend to use Goto or Shala tuners, ABM bridges okay. uh, or Shala, depending on what we're doing with them. Some sort of catastrophe. Um, yeah, I use uh, these are custom round ERS pickups, so they're made by a guy in Turkey. He just does custom round. In Turkey. Yeah. Okay. Just does custom round pickups. We met him a couple of years ago at Holy Grail Guitar Show uh, when in we Bel went there visiting. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he and, and we got chatting with him, and we really liked his stuff. So we've used it. So we got it on the left ear as well. And he winds them for the guitar. Why find why find fret then? Is it as well the ergonomic? Because um, people, people used to tend that actually that's more natural than the normal than the normal fret. Some people like it for intonation, don't they? Um, I like it for the ergonomics. I like it because when I'm playing, my hand starts off angled and then angles in. Um, but also, like that's a 26 and a half inch scale going down to a 25. So there's a nice balance of string tension. You can put this in drop G, and it's, it, it doesn't, doesn't feel doesn't flabby. Gent. It doesn't gent. And you're making as well some kind of uh, smaller guitars, well, but like travel guitars or something. Um, they're not intended as travel. You mean like that sort of one there? And the, that one here. Yeah. The small bass as well. So, so you got, you know. Oh, that, that, that. I mean, if you feel the weight of them, they're not necessarily intended as travel guitars. They were just our early ergonomic designs, which we still make those. Um, 
They were just designed as a bit more, to, they, they were the first sort of scaled down. You get the nice resonance with that longer horn and it balances nicely. How you design them? On a computer or you make like prototypes or you draw them by hand? Um, sketch and then 2D vector drawing software. It's pretty, again, I mean, that's kind of the product designer side of it, but it's pretty straightforward, the actual design of it. Um, it's more than it's been trial and error, so the, we scaled up the bodies a bit more with the later ones, um, which gives them a little bit balanced when set on the knee. And for, for how long are you making them now? Uh, I mean, Professionally, um, I've been making them for about three or four years. I've been tinkering for about seven or eight, um, but we've only been doing shows for about two years. So. How many guitars did you already make? What, before? No, uh, oh, in, gen in general. I don't know. Maybe, probably somewhere in the 20 to 30 range. Is there anybody Is playing them on stage or are they like, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I've got uh, Cal, who's here today, wandering around. Um, who's a, well, I've got a couple of session musicians who play them. Nothing, no one like massively famous, uh -huh. but I've got some, you know, young session musicians, but, young people. But they bands. are being used yeah, by, yeah. by the musicians, so it's yeah. not like someone's buying them because they look nicely or they're like strange yeah. or you know something like that. No, I mean ultimately that's what they're designed for. They, they're designed to be used on stage. They're designed to be lightweight. They're designed to be versatile. They're designed, you know, you can be in a studio for four or five hours and play them. So although they are striking looking instruments. Funny that you mentioned that, because recently I started to record not like standing, but rather sitting. And I was recording at home as well with my computer, like, like you know, I started trying to play with home recording back and I used uh, my SG and after two days I've noticed that actually I got pain here and I was like where is this pain coming from and then I realized that when I'm sitting on the on the sofa with, with the guitar yeah. the, 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 the you know the horn is like pointing me here all the time so probably this kind of stuff is, yeah. is a solution yeah. for I, me in a way you know just yeah or for, for guys who are sitting at home and playing uh, like you said in the studio for five yeah. hours and, and that's that's what it is yeah for. I mean again like those cutaways they're designed to, to encourage you to play in a more classical position did you build already your ultimate guitar that you are absolutely happy about and this is you know the the projects of the project you know I mean the, you know it's the, it's the best of the best or is it still are you still looking for some kind of development and oh, I think I'm always trying to progress I think I don't know if there'll ever be a day that I'm a hundred percent I like I'm always I generally get to a point where I'm about a hundred percent happy with that particular guitar but even then, like there's a few of my older ones that I've ended up going back to and rebuilding because I can do them that much better. But that's more on the, my technical skills as a builder than my skills as a designer. But there's, um, but no, I mean, like, I, yeah, I'm always searching. So like, that was designed to be like the super ergonomic, super different. And then this was designed to be quite ergonomic still, but appeal a little bit wider for you know people who maybe. Have a little bit more traditional. Yeah, that, that's what I was to say. But yeah. that one is rather more traditional. That one is absolutely, you know, out of out of this world. You know, somewhere somewhere else. That's why it's called Vega. Vega. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to find out how it's going with your business and if you are like making money out of it, I got last question, which is absolutely not connected with the instruments. What are you driving? I'm not driving anything at the moment. I, uh, I, uh, How much is the guitar buying of you? <laughs> Buy yourself a nice car. <laughs> yeah. Um, the guitars themselves go between about, like custom orders, we price between about two and a half to about three and a half, depending on what people are looking for. Yet to do a double neck, so that could go a little bit sillier. Um, 
but no, uh, uh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not a big car person. So You're not that, a car yeah, person. Yeah, that's that's. But you've got a driving license. Oh, good, gotcha. yeah, 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 yeah. But I tend to hire one or. Yeah. And we're using public transport. No, I've borrowed a car for this one, but I usually hire a car for him. All right, good. Gotcha. So my last one was a BMW One Series, but it was a hire. <laughs> He's not a car person. Oh, BMW 1 Series. I, 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 I hired a Hyundai. They gave me a 1 Series. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Cheers, I'm, hoping to, I'm hoping to get those guitars in my uh, studio and just play with them and make you a nice review as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. This is my last show now until Birmingham. Um, Which is in February. So, yeah. So it's like so, half a year. Yeah. Happy to, if you want to borrow, I mean, I think Connor's having that for a bit. But if you want to, you know, borrow one, this is still a little bit of a work in progress, but you're more than welcome. Yeah, I'll be in contact and you will see those guitars on both of my channels, Polish one and English one. Thank you very much, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Cheers.